All right. So uh, a while ago I purchased a receive only uh, magnetic loop and I've been meaning to get a rotor for it. Um, so I picked me up from Amazon for $89 an RCA uh, rot uh, antenna rotor along with the antenna rotor wire to control it. So let's check this thing out and see what it looks like. Um, it comes with a remote. What we have is a control center here. Um, so you can set up the degrees. So in other words, it'd be like 22 would be 220 degrees. So that'd be interesting uh, to see. It's got your 10 memory settings, which might be kind of handy. So that looks pretty slick. It's nice and small, and this is going to be perfect for my mag loop. It's light. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up probably tomorrow. So let's go ahead now and uh, start uh, building my little tiny mag loop tower. So now I'm going to take my antenna here. Here's my mag loop. I've got some, not really the right pipe, but this is what I've just been using because I had a scrap piece around. Ideally, I want to get eventually a metal pipe that'll go from my umbrella stand into the bottom of the antenna rotator. And then I'll just use, uh, eventually get outdoor furniture grade PVC that's designed to also be used outdoor. It's designed to handle UV. But this is just a scrap piece I have around and I just want to get this done. I'm going to go ahead and get this all cut up and ready to go. I'm Okay, so these don't go all the way down. So they have this adjustment bolt here. Let's put this all the way snug. Okay. And there's no need to over tighten this. It's just plastic. It would compress eventually and break. So doesn't seem like this is too long. It seems sturdy enough. Now I'm going to mount the antenna to the top. So it's only slightly shorter than what I have for the base. So I'm going to cut that off now. All right, now I'll tighten this guy down. So the, the instructions really weren't clear. The bottom clamp has a hole here and hole here. Maybe they intended if you wanted to like put it up here and screw it against the wall, but I'm going to use it as a way to hold this cord. So I got the cord ran through. All right, and I'm gonna hook it up here. And these colors are, they're labeled one, two, and three. Oh, okay, so I guess I'm gonna get the manual and look at what one, two, and three is supposed to be. All right, one is red, two is black, three is green. So I'll go ahead and connect those wires based on that. So I've got red, black, and green, one, two, and three connected. And now I'll go ahead and close this up. It's a cover plate for where you hook up the leads for the uh, for the wire. And it is labeled the same, one, two, and three. So red is one, two is black, three is green. And so I'm gonna go ahead and run that through and put those on. All right, for now, I'm not gonna worry about pointing this north or south or you know getting the degrees lined up or anything like that. I'm just gonna test it out and let's see what happens. On the front panel you have here, uh, you can see it's flickering pretty much, but uh, I'm going to just rotate it so this would be 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, etc. So I'm going to go out, hook the uh, antenna to it, and then come back in, turn it, and then go back out and make sure it actually turned. So I got my loop in place. There I had it pretty much in line straight with the garage. Now I'm just going to go down here and rotate it 90 degrees, and it should be facing the other direction. You just hold it down 90 degrees. All right. It's a little off. We're pretty close. So it was it was the other direction. So that's about 90 degrees. So yeah, that's pretty good. There we go. Now I'll hook my coax back up. So we have the um, uh, the rotator in place. Now let's see how it works. I'm gonna go ahead right now. This is on the um, 
my transmit antenna. Now I'm going to throw it to the magnetic loop. Now I'm going to take my magnetic loop and let's turn it. Now let's throw back to my transmit. As soon as he starts talking. Let's go back the other way. 